Today we are stood right outside Maxwell Food Center here in Singapore. 10 out of 10. Which is arguably one of the best hawker centers in the city. Look at that. The reason that we're here today, aside from eating a lot of food, is because we've had such bad jet lag. So we're making up for all of the lost time of all the breakfast and all the lunches that we've missed. And we're going to try to eat as much as we can today and drink. We've got a lot of catching up to do. I'm super hungry. Let's go. This hawker centre is so big and so packed as well. Full of locals, full of tourists, but also full of smells and what looks like really good food. Whoa, this place has got a line. Yeah, you know it's good if it's got a line. Should we try the other side? It just keeps going. Good thing we're hungry. <laughs> this hawker centre has sort of three lanes. We just walked through the middle and we're walking through the right hand side now. There's just food everywhere, everywhere. That one's got a queue all around it. You're joking. I guess we've waited until now. We can wait a little bit longer. So this one is one of the only ones that had a big queue, but it was on our list, so we have to try it. Well, I'm trying it. You're trying it, because it is chicken rice. I don't eat meat, but that is the national dish of Singapore. I think so, yeah. And it looks super simple, but super delicious. Here they sell chicken rice, full chickens, half chickens, and a few other things. I think we're gonna go for this, the chicken rice medium. Uh, one chicken rice medium. Thank you. Should we go outside? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a very big portion. I mean, I went for medium because the top one said roasted and I didn't want to go for that one just in case I got something different, but look at that. I've never had it with this gravy on top before. I'm not sure if that's a new thing that they're doing. Probably not. Maybe it's just different for every different stand you go to, but it comes with this very spicy sauce. So this dish is the Hainanese chicken rice, which is the national dish of Singapore. And it was six Singaporean dollars. Now I'm gonna pour some of this sauce over. Because for me, what's a dish without some spice, you know? Mm. Oh, that's good. The rice that comes with this dish is sort of oily, so it's not a dry rice. And the chicken is boiled rather than fried, which means it's, it's just juicy and moist. This one is a delicious dish and it's so simple. It's literally chicken, rice, bit of sauce. Good dish to start on. Okay, time to find something for you. So I know what I want to try. I want to try something that I've never tried ever before, which is a bihun soup. It's like a fish seafoody dish. So which one should I go for? Sliced fish soup? Sliced fish bihun. No, sliced fish could be good. Sliced fish bihun. Small. Five dollars. Hello. Can I please have one sliced fish bihun? Small. One with milk. Sorry? You want with milk? Um, yes, yes please. Yeah. He's having it, so it must be the good choice. <laughs> oh yeah, getting some of that sauce. I am just gonna do exactly what everyone else did. Do as the locals do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Thank you very much. Everyone else put that on, so I'm putting white pepper on there too. <laughs> Back to the same table. <laughs> okay, so this beautiful dish is a sliced fish bihun soup, which is a noodle soup with fish, as you can imagine. Now it looks and smells really fragrant. The lady asked if I wanted a milk-based soup or without a milk base. I said yes, because everyone else seemed to be getting the milk base. And I think I made the right choice because she said, oh, it's creamy. Bihun actually means rice noodles. And then the rest is a milky, very fragrant smelling soup. I can see a slice of ginger and I can smell the ginger. I've also got some dried onions on top. This looks so yummy. And I'm not sure what type of fish this is. Mm. Let me try soup. 
Oh, that's nice. It's actually, it's mild in terms of spice, but it's not mild in terms of flavor. There's a lot happening in there. And it is gingery and milky and creamy. Reminds me a little bit of a uh, ramen that I had in Japan, which was like a milkier, saltier base ramen. Super delicious, really, really nice. Let me have a little bit of everything on here. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. This is not normally the type of dish that I would go for because soupy things I tend to stay away from. But this, super delicious. Would have again, 100%. So while Adriana is going to finish this dish, I'm going to head in and grab two drinks for us because it is super duper hot. <laughs> Bye. Here is a drink stand. Do you have tea, Halia? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one. Do you want cold? Do you want ice? Uh, hot. Please add one here. Uh, here, yeah. Add one uh, three colors, please. Gone for one te halia and one three colors. I saw a guy ordering it in front of me, so I was like, let's try it. it looks like that. Thank you very much. What did you get? Okay, so this is Te Tarik. Oh no, Te Halia. Oh. Te Halia. Nice. Te Halia Tarik. I'm not sure what the difference is. But it's Te Halia, I know that for sure. Okay. And then I saw someone in front of me order a thing called Three Colors. It looked quite interesting. Do you know what it is? I think, well, I'm gonna guess now because I, I, I don't know for sure, but I think there's tea, condensed milk, and coffee. I hope this lid is safe because I'm gonna flip this upside down now. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> a couple more times. Yeah. Whoa. Let's give this a go. It's definitely tea, definitely milk. There might be a smidge of coffee in there. Can I try it? It's really good. I'm not a huge lover of tea, but I would drink this. Yeah, it tastes a little bit like you know bubble tea. Yes. You know. Yeah. Like that. Try okay. It. Well, since you're saying it tastes a little bit like bubble tea, I'm thinking the bottom layer could have been like a syrup. Like brown sugar. Like a brown sugar syrup. Well, it does taste exactly like bubble tea. Maybe it is not coffee then. Maybe that bottom bit was uh, like caramel brown sugar. I feel like it would have been tea, milk, and condensed milk, and then brown sugar syrup maybe, because this is absolutely fantastic. I don't want to taste any coffee in there. And it, it tastes like I'm expecting little bubbles to come into my mouth. Mm, this one, the Tehalia. I can taste ginger in there. Mm. Oh, you know, this one's actually so delicious. It tastes a little bit like Christmas. Oh, it's really hot outside. I'm melting from the food that ended up being a little bit spicy <laughs> because I put the chilies on there. Delicious though, and hot. But a hot drink is always a winner, even when I'm pouring in sweat. I love it. This or this? This tastes like it heals my soul. And this tastes like it heals my heart. Mm -hmm. It's bringing me back to life. Yes. <laughs> I'm now going to go and join one of the other big queues because it was, again, another place that we uh, found online. Uh, there's a lot of locals in the queue, so it's going to be good. Hello. Hello. Uh, chashu rice. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> one, please. One chashu rice. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, UK. UK. Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's from Sweden. Oh, nice to meet you! <laughs> <laughs> Look at these meats. You have like char siu pork there, some other form of pork, and then some duck there. Wow. Looks amazing. What is the sauce? Soya sauce. What's soy sauce? Oh, okay. Oh. And shashan. Oh. 
Hello. 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 Thank you. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> wow. This looks right up my street. Wow. Oh, this looks incredible. Oh my god. You know, I always say I like sweet, sticky, neat dishes. This is literally right up there. Oh my god. For four dollars, I've got chashu pork with rice, but he also topped up me with some uh, duck for free because I was filming, but you know, I won't complain for free. But the place is called Fu Shun Jinji Shao La Mian Jia. There's no English sign on the actual stall, but that's what Google said, so that's what I'm going with. And the guy working there was super duper nice. And uh, yeah, if you come to Singapore, go to his stall. And you can see there's still a massive queue uh, over there. But it wasn't that long, 10 minutes maybe or something like that. So yeah, here I have Cha Shu pork, which is this pork with this sort of barbecue glaze on it. You can see that. And then if I dip that, like this sauce here, which he said was sort of a soy sauce, it's so thick, it doesn't even drip. Look at that. That's sweet. The pork tastes so good. Oh my God, that is, that is, that is amazing. And let me just try the duck as well while I'm here. Get a bit of that sauce again. Wow, both of those pieces of meat taste amazing. This is definitely worth the wait. And I can understand why there's all the high ratings. And just, just look at the portion for $4. Well, even if you were getting the mixed one, it would have been $4.50. So for $4.50, Singapore, wow. This is such good value for money. This is one of my favorite dishes. Definitely 10 out of 10. It's now time to look for a snack, maybe, and or a dessert. I'm pretty full already, like I said, oh. It's like a crack. But is it savory or? Well, that one's butter and brown sugar, appam. That could be interesting. That's not so This one. Yeah. I've never heard of that before. I've but never let's heard of that before. I wonder if it's like. It's small. It, yeah. it goes in that tray there. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Order. Hello. Yeah. Uh, can I please have a butter and brown sugar appam? Thank you. So I'm just reading one of the many newspaper articles that are on here on the hawker stall, and it said that it's an Indian dish, but that it's made by a Vietnamese hawker stall. A mix of cultures. Yeah, a mix of cultures, which is like Singapore down to a T, right? Oh. Oh. Oh wow! <laughs> that looks really hot. Is that the brown sugar? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, it smells so Ooh. good. Here? Oh, I can smell it. Brown sugar yeah. just smells amazing. Brown sugar is just like, mmm. And she gave us a little bit of shredded coconut on the side. Now, this was called appam. And for some reason, appam rings a bell. Did we have something called appam balik somewhere? Yeah, that was the, um, in Malaysia, that was the, the pancake flipped over. That was good. Yeah. So maybe it just means like pancake something. Sure. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. To be honest, I don't know if there's a correct and a wrong way to eat this. Technically, there's not a correct or a wrong way to eat anything. As long as it goes into your mouth, you're doing it the right way. But I've got a fork and a spoon. <laughs> I don't know if I need them. Do I break? I don't know. Oh, it's soft. Oh, not soft. Brittle. 
It's brittle, yeah. Whoa. The center is thick. Yeah, so the center is almost like a raised pancake style, but it, the inside looks a little bit like white, almost like they've used rice flour. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it basically tastes like it would be really good, savory, but we've gone for the sweet option. So the actual appam, I would guess, is savory, like this, fully savory. And then the center, because it's covered in brown sugar, look at that, ooh. Mm. It's sweet, but not too sweet either. Almost like a little bit sour. Mm. This is one of those understated, not too sweet kind of desserts. Yeah, that's interesting. It's like really sour and like savory, but also sweet at the same time. It's confusing my mouth a little bit and my brain, I think, is still asleep. So I don't know what's going on there, but... Let me try it. Interesting to try. I know what it tastes like. Like a healthy dessert. You yeah. know, it's like, it's not super duper sweet and it feels quite natural, uh, especially with the coconut flakes on top. It's not overloaded with sugar, you know. Mm. But when you get the crispy brown sugar on there, mm. that's perfect. Mm. Yeah, I approve of that. Didn't know what to expect, but that's what today is all about. Trying some new things, so. Mm. Very good. It's gotten so quiet here now. I know. It is almost four o'clock. It's the, it's the time difference that's really like messing with our brains. But there are still people here eating, so we're not like crazy or anything. But I think like one more dessert yeah. would really suit the situation. Let's get that bean curd thing. This one? Yeah, like a small one? Yeah, two dollars for a small one. Hello, can I have a, a small original bean curd, bean curd please? It's like uh, moving around a little bit in there. Should we sit down here? It's nice coming a little bit later in the day. I have to say, although a lot of the places have closed now, coming at the end of lunchtime, we managed to have all the hot meals that we were kind of looking for. And now there's all the seats you could want to just pop down wherever you want. And since you're having dessert last, those stalls seem to be open still because they're not necessarily cooking anything right now. Now this is Lao Ban soya bean curd which is essentially tofu soft tofu i would assume this is let me try to open this oh whoa it's so wobbly yeah talk about soft it's definitely oh actually oh that smells really nice you know that sort of milky nutty smell from soy milk. Ah, oh, it smells really good actually. I'm so curious about this. Oh, oh, oh. oh that is soft. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. Mm. Oh. That just fell apart. It like disintegrated in my mouth. I do not need any, any teeth for this dish. And it's, it's actually really tasty. I really like soy milk. And I know that when we were traveling around Asia last time, whenever they had a place that just sold soy milk as a drink, delicious. So this is kind of like that, except slightly firmer and you can eat it with a spoon. They did also sell drinks in there. But that is so like silky, silky, silky smooth. It is sweet, but not punch in the face sweet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I really like that. I really like that. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Mm. Whoa. It just transforms into a drink in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Mm. It's like a jelly. And then as soon as you sort of warm it up in your mouth, it's just like a sweet soy milk. Oh, 
that's really nice. Laoban soya bean curd. Unexpectedly really tasty and a refreshing way to sort of finish our food tour here. Something a little bit light, a little bit cool and kind of like a drink as well. Mm, wow. That was good. <laughs> I think that's uh, filled up our appetite. Yeah. And the past few days and today I am now super satisfied. I'm so glad that we didn't end up missing out on all of those meals yeah. and we could just have them all sort of staggered up together. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. And we'll see you guys in the next video when we're going to be leaving Singapore and heading to Sydney, Australia. Australia, here we come. <laughs> Bye. Bye.